Hello everybody, welcome back to part 2. Going to turn on the seatbelt sign. And, I, uh, and we hope to have a nice landing. Okay, so we are very close to um, our airport. That is our airport right there, in fact. Uh, Shanghai, and we're currently passing 14,000 feet. Uh, we're still above transition altitude. Transition altitude is 118, flight level 118. And so, because we were already cleared down to 2,900, we're going to go ahead and set our altimeter. So, checking our winds, uh, we just got to make sure, because um, here in a, in a China, everything is in meters, kilometers per hour, so it's going through the metric system. So, even on the charts, we have to make sure everything that we are getting or re that we receive is converted to what we know. So... Mirror query. I'm gonna go and request it. So we're, we're at currently at three, uh, three hundred degrees at four a mile correction meters per second. So that's four meters per second, and converted that, that's approximately eight to nine miles per hour. Uh, QNH one zero two four. I already set that in the standby altimeter. We're gonna go and set that in our primary altimeter, and then our copilot will set the same thing. Uh, because we are cleared below our transition altitude. Um, because our charts is everything in meters, I had to convert uh, down, and so um, 2,900 feet is approximately, I believe, 900 meters. And uh, so, okay, we're currently turning downwind. Our um, decision height is 60 meters, which is approximately 200 feet, so I set that in there for both sides. And so our d decision height will be 200 feet. And uh, for a missed approach, we are expected uh, to uh, hold uh, our maximum IS of 400 kilometers per hour or 380 kilometers per hour for our missed approach, which is 205 knots. So to make sure we're below 205 knots, we're going to go directly to Pudong VOR, and then once we pass it, turn left heading 317 until we reach. Um, uh, until we reach 900 meters and then we'll turn left proceed direct to the uh, Liu Zhao uh, VOR okay it looks like we do require drag so we're going to go ahead and apply some drag so the plane can slow down I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we don't have any speed restrictions that we need to hold in. Oh, we do, though. So we'll keep that there. So we are passing 10,000. Go and set our landing lights on. Logo light can come on. Or set our ILS frequency of 108.1. There we go. And a course of 347. Perfect. Okay, NTIS is not required. And our stamina instruments we're going to set to a landing system. And let's set this to ADF. Okay, approach checklist. We have our altimeter set, so our approach checklist. Which is altimeters 1024 cross checked and nav aids are set. Okay. I did not mean to do that. I meant to do that. Okay. Okay, we are. Okay, we might need speed brakes.
This is my first time ever flying into China or any Asian uh, country, and so having to convert everything is different, but uh, I'm, uh, I got used to it very quickly. Just a little bit of conversion, and plus I, I'm more familiar with meters than feet, but of course in aviation I'm more familiar with feet than meters, which is odd, but that's how it is. Okay. So I'm going to reduce our thrust to 230. Always good to do it intervals of 10 because then for fly factor, for some reason, uh, the aircraft, when once you set the speed too low, it just likes to level off and just bleed out the speed and then descend, and I don't want that. So doing it in about 10 intervals is just good. And we're, um, in case you didn't know, uh, we're planning the ILS 35 left for the approach. So that is our runway right there, all the way, the one all the way to the left. So this one right here. Okay. Let me just check one more time when we're expected expected to have one eight zero. Okay, Papa Delta three zero one. That is. Okay, we still have a couple, we still have time. I'm going to go ahead and decrease our speed further 10 knots. And we're going to get a data off, so, otherwise it's too crammed. We're going to slowly increase our cabin lighting. Okay. Localizer armed and we have captured it. Is it 210? We are expected to be at 180 here. And a nice strobe light effect that is very uh, interesting. I'll turn on the strobe light for that. So we don't have to deal with that. I don't want anybody having seizures, so we'll leave <laughs> we'll have kind of that off for now. Totally okay, totally fine. Okay. Channel set flaps one. Speed two hundred. And flaps five. So one eight zero. We'll 
set flaps 15. Glass slope is alive. Go and arm it. Okay. Go ahead and increase our lighting as well. I still have this captured, speed 160. And at this DME arc, we are expected to be um, completely configured. So our missed push altitude is 2960, so we'll keep it at 2900. The radio altimeter is alive. Can you down to 2150? Gear is coming down, spoilers are armed. Strong light, we'll come back on. Okay, 134 plus 5, 139. Flaps 20. Flaps 25. And flaps 30. All at once. Okay, our heading updated. That is nice. Everything is set here. I'm going to go ahead and decrease this a little bit. That is good. Okay, our winds are 300 at 25 knots, so we're going to increase our speed here just a little bit. That would be plus 12. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, we'll do 146 their speed. Just random lights there. Okay, landing checklist. Land green check. Land three check. Cabin is secured. Speed brakes are on landing gear down. Three green flaps or 30 green light. Well, there's no, there are no lights in this aircraft, but there's 30. Set. Okay, we'll, let me decrease our range just a bit more. Just check. Set this to approach. So we can see where our nose is to the left. So I'll probably have to crab. Okay, we were cleared for ta uh, landing. It's coming on. Now we're going to disengage our autopilot. Five hundred. I'll throttle as well. Continue.
100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. 10. We'll play it safe and just continue down the runway. right. Just wait right here so we can get uh, ready. Can start our APU. Release our parking brake, continue our taxi. And we should be good. So we are crossing the runway, go and turn on our strobe lights. So we are currently on Papa 6. We're going to continue until we are on Bravo. Okay. And so right here is Alpha. And so we're going to pass Alpha and go to Bravo.
gonna turn left right here which is not specified okay pop of five I believe yes should be pop of five right here to the left Turn off lights. Let's set transponder to standby. Open our isolation valves and apply the APU bleed. Next night can come off. Parking brake can be set. Alright, so that is the end of this 13 hour flight, well 12 hours and 25 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, finally I made another video, um, this time I spoke, <laughs> something different, and um, if you do enjoy it, if you want to leave a like, go ahead, if you don't like it, let me know why, uh, I'm open to suggestions. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.